Hello everybody. Today we will see how you can use custom fonts in your Next.js application. We have a basic Next.js application on our left side. You can create this uh, by running this following command. You already know that. And I have removed some code from the index.js to add this huge text so that we can uh, see the font change clearly. Okay. So to find any fonts that you want to use, you can go to this particular website fonts.google.com and you, here you can see here are lots and lots lots of fonts for you to choose from and you can use any any one of those so let's pick one uh, let's pick this one it's it looks fancy and <laughs> uh, let's use it inside our website okay so there are two ways of doing this i'll show you both the first way the firstly you have to get the links for this code so the you will select the styles that you want to get and after selecting some styles you can click here view your selected families you can see that you have selected this particular font and here are some already generated code from you okay we have to add this code somewhere in inside our project let's see where we can do that okay so to do that the best way is to create a custom document file so what a document file is basically you can uh, see the next js documentation that a custom document is used to augment your application's HTML and body tags. So it lives above the component tree, right? So it can be used for various purposes, for SEO, for downloading custom, uh, this type of CDN projects or something, anything like that, okay? So to do use that, all you have to do is create a new file under these pages. The name should be underscore document.js and you can just add this this particular basic code inside directly into this uh, document.js file i have already done that okay next uh, inside this head you will come inside this head head component and here is the place where you will add uh, any kind of custom scripts uh, like the one we found from this uh, fonts website we'll paste this here it will not work directly uh, i'll show you why and how to work around that the first issue issue is we are using jsx here so we have to close the tags like this right uh, okay and this one as well okay now it's showing us that cross origin is not being recognized because inside jsx everything has to be connected so if we show this cross origin here it will work and the final thing you have to do uh, is if you want to use this font they have already shown you how you can use this font family so we will come to our globals.css file which you can find under this styles folder and just change the font family here and let's see if our font is has been working or not and you can see that it's been working properly so we wanted to use this particular font and uh, the font is being loaded properly so that is awesome right okay uh, there is another way to do it so let's say you don't want to use any document for some reason i don't know why you should use this document but uh, if you don't want to use it then what happens so i have removed this uh, code from here and if you reload it uh, why it's still like that because of this particular uh, format right so if you revert it back you can see that the uh, the code is no longer working so if we add this nautical here it will not find the font implementation and uh, fall back to this sound page okay so another way of doing this is you will grab this particular url from the link that you are providing and you will go inside this globals.css file and at the top of the document you what you will do is import this css uh, manually how you can do that you can do it like this you can say that uh, vs code is already suggesting me uh, i will just paste the link okay it's not yet working i have saved it and yeah it's working again so these are the two ways you can use uh, any fonts you want in your next js website and uh, thank you for watching that's all for this video
see you later bye